Christine and Bridget came round the other day and between us all we finally put down the last part of the railway. It's very simple, just angle iron set in concrete. But I still can't use it because there's a hole in the floor. I left this hole here deliberately to accommodate a turntable so I can take a trolley right down the barn or I can spin it by 90 degrees and take it into the plasma cutter room. There's a wooden form in there that I need to dig out first. It didn't want to come. <laughs> I didn't have a plan at the time, so I'm having to figure something out in retrospect to suit the hole. Anyway, this is what I came up with. I'm going to use a disc of steel at the bottom of the hole, and one near the top, and in between I'm going to use 22mm ball bearings. I'm hoping that the top disc will spin freely around on the bearings, but actually I have no idea whether this will work, especially with a trolley on the top and the heavy load on top of that, so we shall have to see. I drew out the discs on the computer and then added some small holes in the top one to accommodate lifting hooks. And well, of course, it's not going to work at all unless I can keep the ball bearings in place, so I also drew up a middle disc, one that sits between the top and bottom ones and keeps the bearings in place. That's the plan anyway. Here's hoping it works because these are expensive lumps of steel and I don't want to waste any of them. The bottom plate is cut from three millimeter steel. And this is my wonderful Artec CNC machine. Link in the description if you are interested. I welded a piece of pipe into the centre and then just dropped it into the hole. So far so good. The middle plate shouldn't take any weight at all so I'm using thinner steel for that. Just 1.5mm steel because it's much cheaper. I just hope it won't bend too much when I weld it. 18 holes for the ball bearings and one for the center pin. It has to sit halfway up in the gap. And so we're halfway up the bearings, so I'm welding on nuts as spacers to keep it up off the bottom. So far so good. The tidying up fairy hasn't been around for a while, so it's a bit of a mess and a bit of a struggle to find the pieces that we need. The top plate is simpler because it's just a plate with a hole, but I want it to be more rigid, so I'm using six millimeter steel. This is the thickest steel I've cut with my machine so far, and it's very heavy and it's expensive. 
and unfortunately the first cut went horribly wrong. The electrode burnt out halfway through and the cut was terrible. But I replaced the tip and the electrode and the heat shield which was wrecked and the next cut went perfectly. I have to say that getting through these consumables is the only problem I have with this machine. The software is really easy to use, the machine itself is perfect, but it does get through the tips especially. But when it's all working it's very satisfying. This is where the hooks come in handy. They just go into those little holes and look, ooh, <laughs> it's coming together. I tack welded some small angle in place to keep the wheels aligned. Okay, time for the big test. First, will the trolley be able to run straight through without too many hiccups? Hey, great. <laughs> And the next test, can I turn it around? Yes I can! And a quarter turn? No problem. Time for the first ever load on the finished barn railway. <laughs> there seems to be no fanfare, I don't know why. <laughs> nobody, there's nobody else around. <laughs> All aboard for 1,000 seed potatoes going into store. I like it. Unfortunately, the railway doesn't go any farther than the barn doors yet. <laughs> 